He is known for being a Brazilian writer who revolutionized literature with his unique style. Recognized for his groundbreaking novel, Grande Certeo, Veredas, which combines archaic and colloquial prose and explores profound philosophical themes. His name is Joao Guimarães Rosa. In the world of Brazilian literature, one name stands out, Joao Guimarães Rosa. Born in 1908, Rosa was a man of many talents. Not only was he a novelist and poet, but he also served as a diplomat. Despite his diverse interests, Rosa is best known for his groundbreaking novel, Grande Certeo, Veredas. Published in 1956, Grande Certeo, Veredas is a literary masterpiece that defies convention. Rosa's unique writing style, which blended archaic and colloquial prose, along with his use of neologisms, captured the essence of the Brazilian backlands. The novel's profound philosophical themes led critic Antonio Candido to describe it as a metaphysical novel. In fact, some even compare it to James Joyce's Ulysses, recognizing its significance in the world of literature. Rosa's literary contributions did not end with his novel. Throughout his lifetime, he published four collections of short stories that explored life in the Certeo, the Brazilian hinterlands. These stories not only delved into universal themes but also touched on existential questions. It was through his writing that Rosa left a lasting impact on Brazilian literature. Sadly, in 1967, the same year he was nominated for the Nobel Prize in Literature, Rosa passed away due to a heart attack. His legacy, however, lives on. In the midst of Joao Guimarães Rosa's literary career, he published his greatest masterpiece in the same year. This masterpiece is known as, Grande Certeo, Veredas. The book started as a short novel but expanded over time. It takes the form of a monologue by a jigunko named Riobaldo, who shares the story of his life with an educated listener. Riobaldo's musings cover various topics, including the wars of the jigunkos, the existence of God and the devil, human emotions, and the passage of time and memory. At the heart of the novel lies Riobaldo's quest to determine the existence of evil and the devil. He anguishes over the possibility of having made a pact with the devil, although he dismisses the superstitions of the Cernijos as foolishness. Scholars have interpreted this pact differently. Some see it as a symbolic act of self-assurance, allowing Riobaldo to become a powerful warrior seeking revenge. Others view it as an attempt to climb the social ladder, transitioning from a poor jigunko to the upper class. Amidst Riobaldo's journey, a star-crossed love affair unfolds. He is torn between his love for Diadoran, another jigunko, and Odysilia, a woman from the backlands. Diadoran, whose true gender is revealed to Riobaldo after their death, passes as a man to navigate the male-dominated world of jigunkos. This theme of inconstancy permeates Riobaldo's musings, as he reflects on the ever-changing nature of things. Ultimately, Grande Certeo, Veredas, can be seen as an exploration of memory and language's power to assign meaning to the past. Reality becomes a linguistic construct, shaped by the interaction between individuals. The novel concludes with the phrase, Travesia. O homem humano. Crossing. The human man, and the symbol of infinity, symbolizing the never-ending continuum of life and storytelling. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.